So I'm starting to cut some boards up for my portable sidewalk project and uh, I found a bunch of uh, rough sawn one inch boards in my lumber storage shed that were kind of too short for anything else so I thought I'd cut them up into three foot long boards and they'd been sitting there for 20, 30, 40 years and so some of them were bent and twisted and what have you and crooked and so I needed to get one edge straight and I didn't want to run them through the joiner. So since they're three feet long, I thought, well, you know, since they're crooked, I don't know if you can see that very well, but anyway, many of them are kind of crooked. This one not so much, but a little bit. So if I had a fence that was long enough so that I could have the front edge and the back edge up against the fence the whole way, then I should be able to saw this other edge off and make a nice straight line. But I needed like a seven foot fence for a three foot board because it'd be three feet in, three feet out, plus the width of the or the amount of the saw blade sticking up and a few inches extra. So I didn't have anything that long that straight in wood, but I did have some one inch square tubing right here. So how to fasten that to my rip fence was the issue. And I've got this nice Weissmeyer, Beesmeyer fence. Uh, but no way to really fasten that to it. So I re then I realized that I've been saving up these microwave oven magnets for a long time. And so I had, I probably got a dozen of them here or more. And they're pretty strong magnets. So it occurred to me that maybe since the Weissmeyer fence is steel <laughs> and the uh, piece of one inch square tubing is steel. Maybe that would work. So I took four of those magnets, I found four that were all the same thickness, and stuck them to the Beismeyer fence or Beismeyer fence or whatever, and then stuck my pieces, stuck them to the Beismeyer fence, one, two, three, four, and then I stuck my one inch straight bar to them. And so it works. Let's run a couple through and see what happens. First I'll turn on my dust collector. Then I'll turn on the saw and I've got the saw set for about four and a half inches wide so that I'll be able to take the bowl out and still end up with a four inch board when I saw the other side.
guess that's all there is to it. You can see that they fit up pretty close. So that's my story about how microwave oven magnets can help make crooked boards straight.